guys, welcome back to another video. So for the last week, I have been filming all of my dinner recipes for you guys. And I wanted to give you kind of uh, another video where I show you guys a bunch of different simple throw together kind of dinner ideas. Derek was actually gone this week, so I had the opportunity to make a bunch of different stuff in smaller quantities to show you guys some ideas. Um, but usually we do batch cook stuff in bulk and then we'll eat that for the next few days. So you can also do that with these recipes, just make, you know, double or triple the portion and then just eat that for the next few days or save it for lunch for the next day. Um, but yeah, these are super simple. I have my famous gravy recipe in here for you guys. It's from my Let's Get Saucy book, so I wanted to share it with you guys because I get a ton of questions on it and it's also super simple to make. We got some tofu lettuce wraps. What else did I make? Roasted potatoes and salad. Um, I made some tostadas. Lots of good ideas that you can just throw together very easily for you and your family. So as always, all the recipes, ingredients, everything will be down in the description box for you guys. And let's get into the video. Alright, so we're going to start off with this low-fat curry recipe. For any of you who have seen recipes that have full-fat coconut milk, uh, the way to make them lower in fat is you can just use a light coconut milk or even soy milk. So we're going to start this one off by using some onions and a little bit of garlic and we're just going to saute that in our instant pot until it is nice and fragrant. And then we're going to add in a ton of veggies because we want to lower the calorie density of this. So we're going to add in an entire head of cauliflower, a bunch of chopped sweet potato. We have some brown lentils and red lentils that I rinsed and then we're just going to add in a can of low fat coconut milk, a little bit of water and some curry powder. And you just want to stir that up real nice and then put the lid on and we're going to cook this in our instant pot for I think it was 20 minutes. So once this is done, what I like to do is add in some spinach because it's so hot. You can put it in there and it will just wilt it without having to cook it. And then you can eat this over some baked potatoes or sweet potatoes or just over rice like this. I really like it with rice because the rice soaks up the flavors and it's really delicious. Alright, this next recipe is one of my favorite salads. It is a Thai crunch salad, and salads are always great for having either with your meals or just as a main meal because obviously vegetables are the lowest calorie dense food out there. So what I like to do is just put a bunch of greens into a bowl and then I take my kitchen shears and chop it up. It just helps. It's just easier to eat that way. We're going to add a tablespoon of peanut butter into here, some soy sauce. Um, garlic powder, ginger powder. I like to add cayenne to make it a little bit spicy and then we're just going to stir all that up. Instead of using peanut butter too, you could also use powdered peanut butter and then we're just going to dump that over the greens and mix it in really well. This is kind of a trick of the trade. You want to like mix the dressing into the greens before you put all the other stuff on top and then we're just going to add even more veggies to this. So some cucumber, carrots, some edamame, cilantro, chopped green onion and then you can add a little bit of salted peanuts if you want as well. So this next recipe is a little bit higher in fat but it's very low in calorie density because there are so many vegetables in this recipe. So we're going to make some tofu lettuce wrap. Super simple to make actually. We're just going to take some hoisin sauce. I, I think I used the Annie's organic brand hoisin sauce but just use whichever one you can find. Just make sure it's vegan. And then we got some rice vinegar. We're also going to add in some soy sauce. So this recipe does have sesame oil in it, but if you're trying to lose weight, you can just leave it out. It just gives it a nice flavor. The most, this is the only oil I ever use, and I only ever use a teaspoon just for flavor. And then we just added a little bit of red chili flakes and some sesame seeds in here. And then we're just going to stir all of that together. Then we're just going to start by sauteing a little bit of garlic and some water, and then we're going to add in a ton of veggies. So we got mushrooms, zucchini, carrots, water chestnuts, and then we're going to add in an entire block of pressed and cubed tofu. You can add in even more veggies than this if you want. I love to add in tons of veggies. You could half the amount of tofu if you want to just use half a block of tofu. 
Um, and then we're just going to grate in some fresh ginger. It gives it a nice little kick. And once that's done, I just like to eat this in little lettuce cups. You can put this on a salad with like tons of greens. Um, you can eat with rice. Like there's so many different ways to eat this. So this is one of my favorite recipes. You guys know this. I make this all the time. So we're just going to chop up some pre-steamed potatoes. What I do is I pre-steam my potatoes in my Instant Pot for 10 minutes in a steamer tray. And then I just put them in the fridge and whenever I want potatoes, this is like the best way to get crispy potatoes. You just throw them in your air fryer with a little bit of seasoning on it and cook it for about 15 minutes on the highest setting and they get super crispy. And then we're going to make this salad. So you just want to add in a ton of spring greens. I usually add in a quarter to a half an avocado. I'll use a quarter of an avocado if I have had a more fat that day, but um, if I haven't really had a lot of fat, then I'll use half an avocado. We're add in a tiny bit of lemon juice, coconut aminos, and garlic powder, and just massage all that together. This like makes the leaves coated completely with this avocado mixture, and it's so delicious if you've ever tried it. I always like to add more veggies to this, so I had some cucumber that my neighbor gave me, so I chopped up an entire cucumber, threw that on top, and then I have my roasted potatoes, and this is just my go-to dinner, for real. So my famous wild rice soup, you guys love this recipe so much, but I wanted to show you a low-fat way of making it. So we have all the normal ingredients, onion, garlic, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and Italian seasoning for the flavor, and then I just use this wild rice blend, and we're just going to need a little bit of water, so all we're going to do is throw all of that into our Instant Pot and cook it for 20 minutes, and then once that's done, instead of using that cream base that we make in the original recipe, we're just going to add a cup of soy milk, a bag of kale, and to season this, we just have a little bit of nutritional yeast, some tamari, so a lot of people ask me they don't have miso, what can we use instead? I just recommend using tamari because it has that umami flavor. And then all we're going to do is just mix that together. It's not as like amazing as the original version, but it is still really, really good for a wild rice soup. It's creamy, it's delicious. Oh. So this isn't really a recipe, but it's just an idea I've been obsessed with lately. Um, making these baked chips. They kind of taste like chipotle chips, so you just want to take some corn tortillas and cut them into little triangles. And what I like to do is I put a little bit of squeezed lime on top, and then I add some salt. So this, it just makes the chips have a little bit of flavor. And I bake these in my air fryer on 15, for 15 minutes on 360 degrees, and they get super crispy, and they're so good. I eat these like, oh my god, every day for lunch and dinner for like a week. And then I just use my refried beans recipe, which I'll leave down below for you guys, and some fresh made pico. And I just use that as like a dip, and it's so good. I actually had a second plate of this, because it's just like amazing. Alright, so this is a really easy mashed potato gravy recipe. So the first thing that you want to do is chop up some potatoes. I like to use red potatoes because I feel like they get really creamy when you mash them. And then all I do to make these is I put a steamer tray in the bottom of my Instant Pot. I add a little bit of water in there, put my potatoes in, and steam them for 10 minutes. And then while that's happening, I just chop up some garlic, onion, and to make the gravy, we're just going to saute that in a little bit of tamari. While that is sauteing, we're just going to wash and chop up an entire packet of mushrooms. So this is like three cups of Baby Bella mushrooms. And then we're going to add that into the pan and just cover it. Let the mushrooms release all their moisture and then just like reduce it to a simmer and let it cook. And then I usually add half of it into my blender with a few of the potatoes, which makes it really creamy. And I just blend that up completely until it's like nice and creamy. And then I add that back into the rest of the mushrooms. And once the potatoes are done, all you got to do is just put them in a bowl. They're so soft that you can just add a tiny bit of soy milk and mash them with a fork. And then I usually just like to eat this with some frozen peas and carrots. So I add that into the saucepan. And then I just pour all that over top. And it's like so good, you guys. I was just editing this video and I realized that I forgot to sign off and say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful for you guys. Like I said, all the recipes, ingredients, everything will be down in the description box for you guys. And I'll see you very soon.